Yeah. Purple. This is just where I learned how to be myself. Like really just all the time on my own. I mean, learning how to interact with other people, learning how to like carry myself in society without my parents at an early age. So it was a cool opportunity to just feel like an adult. And then also, man, this is kind of where I got a sense of what music I like, because I had enough time to listen to one album every day. And so my favorite albums were albums that aren't days to me. They were like my time periods, because every day for an hour and a half, I could listen to the Carter II, or I could listen to like Velvet Underground and Nico or some shit. This is where my dad lived. And uh, now tore down Cabrini Green projects. All my cousins lived in here. Half of my family on my dad's side lived in the same building. Crazy to see the significant difference in the environment between like other neighborhoods, like the neighborhood where my school was and the neighborhood where like half my family lives. You know, I always I always kind of noticed how fucked up it was that some people just didn't have the same opportunities as other people. You know what I mean? Yeah. Probably first came here like freshman year in high school. We all had to meet up somewhere, so this was like our neighborhood away from our neighborhoods, you know what I mean? Like, if there was ever a place that you could find any of us, this is where to find us. It was like the, the place we learned who we were together, which one of us had certain type of personalities in the pack, so to speak, you know what I mean? Like, it's really where we, where we became ourselves as a unit and learned how to be more of ourselves as ourselves. Yeah. Run it up. Yeah. First off, like Leaders, a prominent Chicago streetwear store was over here. And that was like my first job. I interned at Leaders for a long time. And then also, man, we just used to come here um, like after the period of time when we were going to the beach, we just start coming up to Wicker Park and kicking it up here and shit, you know? Wicker Park, I mean, especially back then when there was not a lot of places in Chicago that were like cultured and you could be black or any, any race, really. And as long as you were like different, and you just like dressed a little different, thought a little different, you were progressive, you were young. You didn't look out of place here. That's kind of like what made you feel in place here. I don't know, it was just motivational to let us know that like it was cool to be different. We didn't know that there was like a Soho or like a Williamsburg somewhere else. Like we didn't know anything about that. It was just our kind of place to feel like at home and feel like we weren't kind of like, we were onto something, you know what I mean? These dudes are just, I don't know, they just showed us that being us was cool and that like having a friend group that was different was cool, having a perspective that was different was cool and like that you can make something out of this and it's cool that we can kind of carry the torch. They help us with everything, man, and vice versa. Anything these guys need, they can always get it because there was times when I was fucked up and I didn't have anything, any bread to buy clothes or something and like a party was coming up, or, like a school dance was coming up or my birthday was coming up and they'll give me a whole outfit for free or help people support people that support Chicago the way they support Chicago, you know what I mean? I think it's important for everybody to, 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 to like frequent these spaces because, I don't know man, you, there's very few people that care about strangers the way somebody who designs clothes does, you know what I mean? Especially when it's to the level that a Fat Tiger works or, or a St. Alfred does because truth be told, like they're doing this to keep Chicago fresh, to keep Chicago ahead of the curve and to keep Chicago culture. Until you hear from miles away